why is Shrek like such a cult thing, man? I don't get it. I, I still don't understand why this FPS is so shit. This is terrible. Anyways, it's fine. It's fine, though. Uh, let's try out Shrek Smash and Crash Racing. Sh Sh Shrek Smash and Crash Racing. Shrek Smash and Crash Racing. Shrek Smash and Crash. Okay. It's not... We got this. We can do it. I would rather not do the donkey. If that's okay with everybody i'm not into the donkey show thing but you know it's to each no actually I, i'm not even gonna like <laughs> oh as the character that's what you meant of course yeah totally you got this man shrek moments it's no you know what it's fine is there anything here we care about probably not there's no like video options or anything so no there's nothing we care about that's the character trust me it's funny do donkey um do we want to just like maybe just do a quick race to get like a feel for it and then we can try the tournaments or something so wait, how many maps are there? Of course, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24? 24? That's actually not bad. That's more than I expected. They don't look terrible, because I'm assuming those are like shortcuts you can use and stuff. I wonder if there's any secrets or anything hidden down like these different random paths here. Uh, whatever. For for like learning, we should probably just do the swamp. What the hell is that? Does that is that thing ever in the show? Or show movie? I do not remember this like swamp beast being a thing. <laughs> no, okay. Awesome. And then of course you have Donkey riding the dragon. Wink. Um that makes a long a lot of sense. Fiona in the in the thingy? In the, the onion carriage thing. Gingy in a weird cupcake. That's Puss in Boots on some sort of bull. Is that Prince Charming? On... Or no, that's that's uh, that's Fancy Shrek on Fancy Donkey, isn't it? I think that's Fancy Shrek on Fancy Donkey. I have no idea, honestly, what that is. Or that, for that matter. That's uh, Pinocchio. Oh, Red Riding Hood? What, this one? Or this one? Is This one's probably Red Riding Hood. A oh, Humpty Dumpty was the other one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And then, yeah, that's this is Pinocchio. Yeah, I got that one. That's the three little pigs on a, on a thingy. Um, That's somebody on a bear? On Papa Bear? Maybe this is... Three blind mice. Uh, mm, I think those are the pigs. They look more pig-like to me than mouse-like. I could be wrong, though. The guy with the hood in the movie. Oh, he's like an executioner or something, isn't he? Anyways, we had a uh, donkey suggested to us. We'll do, we'll do donkey. That's fine. We don't need a profile. That's what I was going to do. There was something I was going to do before stream started on my phone, and I couldn't remember what it was. I was going to see if my memory card's on the way yet. My new PS2 memory card, my fancy one. What's it called? Memcard Pro 2. Um. Yes, apparently it has. Shipped, that is. You've got a countertop dishwasher coming? That's awesome, actually. I have a countertop dishwasher. Fucking love it, dude. Okay. Still waiting for details, but it is international shipping, so that makes sense, I guess. The only glance but saw the three blind mice is an unlockable. Oh. Okay. I mean, it could be. I don't, I don't actually know. The music is... It's musicking. Um, we'll say that much. Do we have like any? Okay, we can jump with R1. Can we drift? Oh my God, no, no, you cannot. Circle looks back. How do we? Do we have any items? Oh my God. What? It? Okay, like all of these. This is so garbage. It's. it's <laughs> 
<laughs> How do we shoot? I have a thing. Ah, L1. L1, okay. Are you sure you can drift? It does not feel like we can drift, dude. I have no idea what that did. That, what that did. You can <laughs> anti cat jam, yes. Ow, okay. I thought that was like star power and we'd be safe from everything. It was not. This is just like super speed. Oh wait, should we have gone in there? I wonder what was in there. How do we drift then? That's my question. Okay, we got some shields. That's cool, I guess. I have no idea. Is that a bomb? That's a bomb. Oh my god, that thing is so fast, whatever he has. Is, does this, like, hunt down people? It does. So that's, like, our red shell. Is it square to drift? No. Square, I think it's just break, it seems like. Triangle and circle both just look behind us. It's weird. Like, it does not control well at all, man. Last thing about the music, I swear. The music is, uh, it's musicking, man. That's all I'll say about it. This is beach tutorial music? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is, man. 100%. I can't tell if that carrot is something we want to be grabbing. We are not doing great. I feel like... How do we lose all of our shields? I feel like drifting isn't actually a thing, man. If you can think of how to do it, then by all means, I'm a, I would love to know, but... It doesn't seem to be an option. Like in, in Mario Kart, I would just, you know, do a jump and then, like, come out of it into a drift. But that's doesn't seem to be a thing here. Nice. Last place. We're great at this game, dude. Natural fucking gods. Garbage. <laughs> I see why the game doesn't, you know, receive the highest appraises. Outside of Rue, of course. Rue seems to like it, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna tell you you're wrong for that, Rue. I'm just saying it's not very good. School your friends in multiplayer. Race across twelve different fairy tale locations. Twelve mounts for addictive racing action. I mean, you had me at mount, my guy. Uh, <laughs> let's try one of the tournaments, I guess. Do these people have different like stats? Because somebody, I think it was Puss in Boots, seemed to be, like, a lot faster than us. I'm going to try out Shrek now. Just to see, like, if it handles differently or anything. <laughs> That's Nightmare Shrek, bro. Oh, hey, <laughs> oh, Ginger, you're looking a little blue in the face there. <laughs> oh, I know. That was tough. Jeez, I need to practice more. I'll see this. Miss you one day, Shrek. Just you wait. Okay, Gingy. What? Whatever you say. Hey, look what I found. Shooting magic dust out of giant bullfrog's nostril. Okay, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Careful, Donkey. That's Fairy Godmother's magic wand. You better return it to her. I will, I will. But first, it's time for breakfast. And I've got a hanker for corned beef hash, pancakes, and tuna on rye. Order up! Mm, Rue, I think we all me. have questions, honestly. Oh, is this how we all get our mounts? <laughs> Bro. Okay. Stop, <laughs> that I'm swamp mon that monster anymore. looks significantly donkey. more cool in the menu. Everything done. here now looks weird as shit, do? though. His face oh is God. like smashed That's in. Shrek's God. face is garbage, <laughs> man. Like. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, I guess that explains how 
Donkey and the dragon were able to, you know. And also, Donkey's eyes. Look at his freaking eyes, man. They're, like, sunken in. That is... That is nightmare fuel. I have to say, is this get good? It's not about, like, being bad at the game. It's about the game. Did you see what we just saw? <laughs> that's that's it. That's all I think I need to say about the game, man. That opening intro <laughs> told us everything. The controls are ass, but I do think you could get used to them. I'm still pretty sure there's not actually any drifting in the game, though. At least in the PS2 version. I don't know why it would be different, but, like... I couldn't figure out any way to do it, at least. I wonder if you get, like, speed bonuses for... Um, for, like, starting at the right time. Oh, do you have to hit, like, both the switches before you can... Whatchamacallit, go through the boot? That makes sense. Oh, shoot. Okay. I didn't realize there were things we couldn't just smash through. That's fair. Cool. Okay. We can throw stuff behind us. That's nice. I wonder, can you hold things? No. Okay. Like in Mario Kart, you know, you can hold things to... Whatchamacallit? To, to protect your ass, basically. Oh, well, okay, I couldn't throw that behind me for whatever reason. Can I throw this behind me? No. So there's only certain things you can throw behind you, I guess. The one thing I will give it credit for is it does seem to control differently oh, between different characters, which is a nice touch. Like, Shrek feels completely different here than it did playing uh, Donkey. So that's cool. Is this shortcut actually worth it? I don't... Oh my god. Seriously? <laughs> How do we... Can we smash out of it somehow? Or... Oh, whatever. We got... We got super speed. We're out of super speed. I've got toenails that are tougher than you. We're gonna lose again, dude. I feel like we lost places when we took that that quote unquote shortcut. So maybe maybe the shortcuts aren't necessarily like a good thing. Wait, did we what did we just do? Did we get bigger? Why did we get bigger, though? I didn't see what I used. I just used whatever it was. God. Wait, what place are we in now? We're still in third. I don't know what place we have to get to, like, continue. I'm assuming if, as long as you get top three, you can still, like, move onward. Oh, my God. We break out of this somehow? I don't think so. It might be placed on or based on placement. That's how it works on Mario Kart, of course. The farther forward you are, the more penalty you get. Whenever you uh, get hit by like one of these group attack type of things. Okay, we got third. That's something, I guess. Is it point based? It's point based. Okay. So that's not bad. And it's purely, it's like one point per place. So as long as we get like, I don't know how many races are in this, three per tournament, four per tournament. As long as we get first in a couple of them and don't get below third, chances are we'll do okay. There's four. So that'd be 24 would be a perfect score. So our new max is 20. We lost, what, two points? So 22. 22 sounds like enough to, to win. Honestly, my goal is like 18. <laughs> we can get like 18 points. I'll be happy enough. May not be, it may not be enough to win to be determined, I guess, but. See, so already? Bros. What you gotta freeze this for? 
Is there even anybody in front of me? I don't know if I should have actually thrown that guy. The one thing I will say is the courses are interesting, right? There's a lot of variety in the in the layouts here. A lot of like different paths and obstacles and questionable shortcuts. That's cool, I guess. I don't know, do we want to grow that vine there? Probably not. There's like a bar up there too. I'm assuming that's like our current speed versus our maximum speed. It's so like right now, I'm assuming we're going max speed. Get up, get up, get up, get up. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just doing things. It's fun. There's so many obstacles. I like the obstacles, but oh boy, does it make things harder, man. It adds a lot of nice variety to the level, but god damn. I'm not that good at this game. I've never played it before. I know nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely no drifting, man. I I landed completely like horizontal, facing east-west, moving north, and I just instantly shifted from like moving moving forward to moving sideways. There was no there was no drifting at all. To it, you know, it was just it was just an instant. This is what you're doing now, sort of thing. So, so it's either a little bit different between the GameCube and PS2 versions, or uh, you misremembered a little bit, my guy. <laughs> or there's some sort of button you have to press to enable it. I guess that's a possibility too. I can't deny that possibility. It's it's possible. I just haven't figured out how to uh, press that button yet. What place does that get us into though? Second gets us into second. Okay. Here we'll uh we'll pull out the good old manual here. We'll see what the manual says about the default controls. Page three. Starting up, default controls. You have reverse camera, jump, reverse camera, reverse camera, accelerate, brake, steer, steer, accelerate, and reverse. So you can use the left analog stick for all of it if you want. Use pickup and attack. Oh, there's like a basic attack too? See, that I didn't know. That's something new. So you can just like punch people as you go past. But that's, that's, it. so there's no buttons I'm missing. That's, uh, there's just, there's just no drifting. <laughs> drifting does not exist. It's good to know about the, the attack though. I guess that could come in handy whenever, like, what was it? Was it the quick race? Maybe it was the first race of the tournament when Fiona was right on our face the whole time. Not the whole time, but for a minute, we maybe could have just like punched her or something and got her the hell out of the way. So that's handy to know that that's a thing we can do. <laughs> Loading times are garbage. Can't completely blame that on the game, though. It could be the disc not being in the best condition. I, uh,. I didn't take a particularly good look at it before we before we popped it in. Yeah, I still have no idea if there's any like sort of bonus or not. Okay, so do we? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any penalty for for attacking. I was kind of expecting it to like force us to slow down or something. Maybe not be able to accelerate when we're when we're attacking or something but can we just like keep attacking no, okay. 
I wonder what the pumpkin does. This is. Uh -huh. We threw it down, so I'm assuming it's like some sort of bomb or something. Sort of deal. Get wrecked, three little pigs. Oh my god. Okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Can I get hit by my own thing? I hope not. God, I put that in the greatest place, though, man. It hits so many people. Oh, was that carrot-looking thing? Was that the, the pumpkin that I threw down? Maybe that was... Yeah. That's a pumpkin, and yes, it's bad. Yeah, I just... I remember seeing it, like in one of the last matches and I thought it was a good thing like I almost tried to pick it up but I was terrible at controlling the game so like I didn't I guess it's good okay, thankfully whoever got that was like a little bit further back so that didn't really affect us that sucks but I'm assuming hitting the oh bro that was garbage Stay far, far away from me. Stay far, far away. Get it? Far, I've far away. Bro, I'm... Oh, you. that was absolute garbage. Okay, we still have one more lap. We spent the whole game in first besides, like, a split second. And then we just get fucked. I mean, that's Mario Kart for you, I guess. That's just kind of how kart racing games work. Still absolute garbage, though. Why sometimes do we just not accelerate? Something I don't understand. Hey, stay far, far away from me. Give me, give me something good. Oh, did I get nothing? Uh, what was that garbage? Whatever, we got second. I don't remember who was in first place. Uh, of course it's freaking Pinocchio, man. Oh wait, that was the last race. We got second. Is that is that okay? Is that enough to unlock more stuff, or do we need to get first? We probably need to get first. First would make sense. But I don't know. But na 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 na. But da da da. But na 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 I don't know why that was in my head. It just suddenly popped in there and I couldn't help but I couldn't help but say it. Sing it, do it. I couldn't help but do it. That's Manana Oh my god. Suburbs are far, far away. So wait, did it just go straight into another tournament? Hey, stay far, far away from me. Can we cut the grass? No. Oh, that's what these pits are for. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Well, we probably lost this one because, yeah. But, like... I've been waiting for your water to boil, you swear you hit the boil button? I'm gonna take an absolute insane guess and say that, yeah, you forgot to turn on <laughs> the kettle. I'm sorry, love. Oh, what a dick. Okay, so I'm assuming we can't accelerate over... No? I was gonna say, I'm assuming we can't accelerate over like halfway without some sort of power up. But we're now, we are very slowly accelerating higher though, so I don't know. Maybe it's turns. Maybe like turning eats in your acceleration. I mean, hitting walls like that definitely does, but. <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Push me. That was dope. Many thanks for that. I just throw that out of bounds. Son of a bitch. Get out of the way, you dick! Oh, I forgot about being able to just like regular attack. That would have been particularly cool. It's 
fine. We'll, we'll take a solid sixth, please. Why not? Keeps us humble, right? That was that two laps left. It's a chance we get something that's not last place. In theory, though, we could just do that. Yeah, <laughs> like I said, pretty much all your momentum carries forward and just works. Like. Yeah, there's another Shrek game we haven't played yet. It's apparently good. It's a Shrek fighting game. I think it's Smash... No, actually, I take it back. I don't think it's Smash Brothers style. But it is It is a, a Shrek fighting game of some sort. I don't really know anything about it. I just remember seeing a video that mentioned it at some point. But I don't remember why in particular or anything. But, oh, you did! I didn't even see that, dude. I was just avoiding the mush, the mushroom, the 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 Jinji, giant Jinji, whatever his name. Oh, that sucks. I thought we can make that jump. We cannot make that jump. Not that big. Maybe if we had like a boost. If we had a boost, we could probably use that as some sort of shortcut. But... As it is, though, no. It's fine. I've already accepted that we lost this one. Ah, oh, thank you for the vote, love. Hopefully that one's uh, better than this one. Wait, did we not get frozen? Because oh, what a dick. And because we were in last place? Last place, like, immune from, from ice? That's a nice mechanic, if so. Alright, I mean, at least we didn't literally get last, you know? We were... We were pretty close, but... <laughs> uh, whatever. This is a game, dude. Honestly, if I had it as a kid, I would have played it. And I probably wouldn't have hated playing it with, like, my brothers or something. But let's be honest, man. It does not compare to something like Mario Kart at all. Not, it just doesn't, man. Mario Kart is a lot better. Then ba oh, I'm basically everywhere. Downtown, far, far away. I think it's in. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy singing the Muppet song. The Muppet song that I've never actually seen in real life. I've just heard Noodle singing. <laughs> Noodle might have shown me like a clip of it or something. Or something but... but I've never actually watched the Muppets myself. But definitely haven't like seen it in its natural environment. <laughs> you know what I hear is nice for this kind of game? It really helps you out. When you get some power-ups on this one. Also when you don't run into everything on the map, that usually tends to help too. Are we in last? Are we in last again? I'm so garbage at this game! There's just so much crap everywhere. You see those random rats? Why were there just rats? Uh, I, I said that you might have shown me the no, 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 song at some point. Because I've never like actually seen it myself. Get wrecked. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, we hit the pumpkin! Wait, how do we end up in there this time? What does the gas do anyways, other than like making it hard to see? That might literally be it. Wait, did that freeze everybody? Get wrecked! They don't look frozen. If 
lap three. We're in fifth-ish place. Hard to say for sure because things are not in the tree. Good job, you hit the tree. Kill Fiona. That didn't do much to her, did it? Let's go, third place! And we get a shield. It's weird that the shield isn't like until you get hit. The shield is just a time thing. When I f oh no 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 go go go! Oh, we were doing so. Oh wait, do we still get? Oh wait, is there still one more lap? Shit, there's still one more lap. <laughs> get off the tree, Shrek! Why? <laughs> God, I thought we actually got second place. So much for that. Uh, I mean, hey. If it's at, oh, oh, can we hit things in the environment? That's kind of neat if we can. Uh, what was I saying though? Oh, if it is a Mario Kart knockoff though, then you never know. We still end up getting first place even if we just get a little bit lucky with pickups and stuff. Oh my god. And if we stop getting thrown into trees. You got so unlucky there at the end. Fourth. Yeah, we're definitely not good at the game. That's that's safe to say. You want to open your sweet and creamy creamer for your tea latte, or do you want to try it with your Mean Girls creamer? If Mean Girls is already open, then I say you should probably just do that one, because you know you need to finish it so you don't waste it. That's that's what I think. What? Oh, fuck. But what do I know? Anyways, you know, I'm just a dude. I kind of want to get, I'm not going to lie, since I mostly do console games, I want to get, like, whenever I eventually get my own room for streaming instead of just being in my bedroom with the, the blue screen back here, I want to get, like, a couch, a small couch, or, like, a, whatchamacallit, a futon, or just a really comfy chair instead of a computer chair. Because, like, I like to sit cross-legged, which I can do on the chair. I can sit cross-legged, but, like, I also like to sit with my knee up. It's kind of hard to tell because the software thinks my knee is... Oh, shit. <laughs> We're supposed to be going. The, uh... <laughs> the, the software thinks my knee is part of the background. Anyways, uh, yeah. But, like, I like to sit with my knee up sometimes, too, and stuff like that. Yeah, I like to just recline in general. It's like, a recliner would work, too, but... A couch has more versatility. The lounge chair that you showed me. I'm trying to remember it. I'm so sorry. My memory is garbage. I remember you showing me one. I just don't remember it. You know, like that that one exactly. But yeah, something, something along those lines, you know? I would want something, like, that I could use for more than just sitting, I think, though. Because I would also like to probably use it for, like, whenever I'm just gaming or have company over, you know, and we want to play games together, I would most likely be doing that in the same room that I stream from. So, like, a bucket? Wait, what? <laughs> what? I'm so confused. Why a bucket? Is that, like, a type of recliner that I'm not aware of? It might be. I can be used for more than sitting. A shit bucket? Is that is that what you're getting at? So we never have to leave, man. We can just stay in one spot forever. Why are we flying? Some of this geometry is a little weird. Also, the frame rate suddenly died. What is the point of getting big in this game? Do you like do you just hurt people when you touch them? Um are you faster? I don't really understand what the, the swole power-up is for. You're a dick game. For the next 12-hour stream, yeah. Next 12-hour stream, we're getting a bucket, boys. Let's go. Actually, legit, I do want to do one of those soon. But it's probably going to be a lame one, and I'm just going to play through, like, the games that are never going to get those, honestly. Because, like, I don't, want, I don't want the last games we play... I want some of the last games we play as this to be, you know, decent games. And I don't want it to be just 
a hundred different sports games. We still haven't played any fishing games at all. We haven't played uh, any NHL games. We still have like five first party, you know, Madden uh, sports ball games to go through. We have a lot of MLB games to play still, etc. So yeah, I definitely like, I want to play more of them eventually, but... Wow. That's actually not a bad idea. I can see that being trolly though. Can I curate the list of what the last five are? The only problem is at the rate that we're going, last five is going to take so fucking long. Or like getting through them all is going to take so fucking long. Because there's 1,801 games, man. There's just so many PS2 games. It's ridiculous. I really picked the wrong console to be my first like full collection goal. <laughs> but it's my favorite console, so I had to. But, like when I was at the game store, I was talking to the guy. Oh, you have to finish in top three. Okay. Uh, anyways, I was talking to, to the guy that was down there, and he told me um, that he thinks he's going to start trying to do a, a PS3 collection, which is awesome. You know, that's something I plan on doing eventually. And he said, I think he said there was like uh, the 1,100. Do you remember how many he said, Noodle? I can't remember how many he said. I know it was significantly less than the PS2, though. Because from my count, there's 1,801. There's many, many different counts of how many games there are in the PS2. But by my count, there's 1,801. Um, I think he said there was around 1,000. 1,100, 1,000, something like that. Is that what you said sounds right? I don't remember. I just know it was significantly smaller, at least for, like, actual physical games. Obviously, digital games, that's a whole nother can of worms. Um, there's a lot, a lot of those, and I can't really collect those legally. Um, unless, like, the shop is still open, I guess, whenever I get around to collecting those. But anyways, I wonder how many are there are for the PS1. I'm not going to start another console until I finish the PS2, but my plan has always been to finish PS2, and then if I'm still into video game collecting, then how is everybody getting unfrozen? Anyways, if I'm still interested in collecting video games, PS1, and then, uh, assuming I'm not dead yet, start on the PS3. So. But, I don't know. It's, it's, there's so many, man. It's, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to wrap your head around, honestly. Only a handful that's really expensive. That seems to be true for, like, PlayStation games in general, though, or consoles in general. Because the PS2 only has a handful that are super expensive, thankfully. Um, and by super expensive, I mean, like, a video game. For me, I consider an old game to be expensive if it's more than, like, 30 bucks. I'm not gonna lie. Because, like, that's what I find to be, like, reasonable for, for a game that's not new. That was a AAA game at release. I would, like, 20 to 30 bucks I find reasonable. But I consider expensive to be anything over around 100. That's where it's just, like, bruh, why? <laughs> sort of thing, you know? Unless it's, like, a collector's item, it does not need to be over $100. That's just insane. And thankfully, the PS2 is pretty decent in that regard. There's only a couple of games on the PS2. I haven't done an actual count of them, but I'm guessing... probably only like 50 games that are over 100 bucks. For a, for a... at least for a loose copy. Complete in box might be a little bit more, but it's still not that high. The PS2 is pretty reasonable price-wise. The average price on PS2... I think this number was for loose copies, but was like $12 or something. Oh, that was close. Um, obviously, if you're going for complete, that number jumps up a lot more quickly. But even then... I want to say it was only around like $18 or something. It's not, it's not like a huge difference. 
but like yeah for now that's true yeah prices are always very uh susceptible to change and uh a lot of the games are probably just going to get more expensive as time goes on sad but true first place look at that dude um but with that said though a lot of games have also gone down in price recently there was a bit of a retro video game bubble around 2020 started around 2020 and then uh started like fixing itself like 2023 ish something with like all the people staying home and being nostalgic and shit like that and then of course there's the whole thing with like sealed games like sealed and rated i don't mean like new games but games that have been raided and auctioned off and all that um likely some some scam stuff going on there as well with those games but th there was a bit of a bubble for sure and it's uh more or less seemed to have popped a lot of games have gone down in price there are still some that have gone up of course I would say overall, video game prices seem a little bit more reasonable now than they were a year or so ago. Um, still pretty outrageous. In a lot of cases. Gotta get going, you have a callback in the morning. Gross, but... <laughs> Wait, a callback? Like, a callback for... For like an interview or something or do you mean like as just part of your job like you have to call somebody back or schedule time to assist the customer okay 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 that's what i thought you meant at first that's why i said gross but then i was like wait a second callback can mean a lot of things it could be a good thing anyways i hope your i hope your uh, customer call goes well dude have a good night get some rest prepare yourself for tomorrow oh my god the dicks No other job yet. <laughs> Love you, dude. Have a good night. We actually get second place. I thought for sure we were going to run into that dude. Was that, was that a shortcut? That might have been a shortcut, <laughs> technically. Honestly, though, like a lot, I think I said earlier, a lot of the uh, quote-unquote shortcuts in this game don't really feel like shortcuts. They just feel like alternate paths that probably aren't going to help you in the like goal of winning. <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> Sorry, I really wanted to like, <laughs> I really wanted to like cover my sneeze there. Oh my god. No! <laughs> Thank you for the speed boost, masked demon dude. I don't know who you are. I can't remember your name. But you like hit me in the ass. And oh no! Bro, come on. Get good, dude. Okay, second place. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with second if we can hold on to second. He's only a second ahead of us, too. If we can... Oh, never mind. One, he got a shield, and two, I didn't get anything. <gasps> There's still one more lap! There's still one more lap! We have a chance! I really wish we could throw things backwards, because I want to get a little bit more of a lead on him, but it doesn't look like gonna happen. Or, it, wait, no. That's not what I meant to say. It's not gonna happen, because that's not a thing. Anyways, <laughs> thank you for the five bits, Nico. I appreciate you. You stole my thing, you bitch! Went from holding first and second down to the fucking fourth. Come on. Let's go, dude. Outrun him. Give me something good. Let's go. Yeah, dude. <laughs> first place. Get wrecked. By 0.46 seconds. We'll take it. We'll take it. Does that put us in first place? It does, by two points. I couldn't remember if we got first or second on the last one. I didn't know if we were like tied for first or something. Wait, does Pinocchio top spot again? Is Pinocchio OP? Maybe that's who we should be playing as, man. Good old Pinocchio. 
Yeah. I need to figure out like how much a storage room is or something like a like an actual storage room or like I don't know spend a week cleaning my basement deep cleaning my basement <laughs> laying down some plastic or something I hate my basement like I, I have one right and basements are like classic store all your shit type places so like that would be perfect but I hate my basement so much I don't want to put anything down there. <laughs> but I have a three-bedroom house. I One is dedicated to Noodle. Right? So Noodle can, like, have her makeup and uh, crafty areas or whatever whenever she decides to make that room up. It's all hers. So the other one ends up just being a storeroom because, like, we need somewhere for all of our junk. Like, I could set up a stream room again. I used to have my own gaming room, even. I just got rid of it so that I would be around Noodle more. Um, but now Noodle spends all of her time in the living room. <laughs> so, like, if she's going to spend all her time in the living room anyways, I might as well have my own gaming room again. But she she legit needs her own room, though, so I don't want to take that one from her. But now that I've thought of the idea of, like, getting a futon or something to, like, sit on while streaming... <laughs> and then just having, like, the computer close by for whenever we need to hit buttons and shit. I could even use, like, a uh, like a wireless keyboard to, like, switch between a keyboard and mouse to switch between scenes and stuff. Though, of course, I guess, too, like, if it's close enough, then it wouldn't even really matter. Because I could just, like, stretch the USB cable over. But for playing these console games, obviously for PS... Or, I'm sorry, for PC stuff, it's different. But for playing these console games, man, just having your dick, knight in shining armor, um, it'd be really nice to just have like a couch or something. Not to mention on the off chance like my brother or someone comes over. I mean, it does happen every once in a while. Because like right now, I can like the PS2 is technically hooked up to the to the TV in the bedroom. So it's not like I can't play PS2 games with other people if they come over right now. But like, there's not much room. We'd have to sit on computer chairs because the only other form of seating in here is the, the bed. Like, it's just awkward. That's like, that's my goal now, I guess. That's what I'm gonna do this year. I'm gonna either get my basement in a state where I'm comfortable putting stuff in it. Or figure out how much a storage shed is somewhere and get all of this shit out of my house so I can make my own room again. The only thing I worry about then is that the electrical in that other room didn't seem the best, but like... I'm sure it's fine. It might get a little hot in the summer. <laughs> Especially with, like, computers running and stuff. But it shouldn't get, like, too bad in the winter, you know? Free heating in the form of computes. Oh, the frame rate right there was atrocious. All the way down to third. Um, that probably ties us for first. No, there was a bit of a shake up there. We're still in first place. Get wrecked, bros. Unlock you Prince Charming? Gross. So did we unlock Prince, Prince Charming because we got first place, though? Or did we unlock Prince Charming just for winning another... Or being in the top three of another tournament? I'm guessing because we won. Because we didn't get anything from the first tournament other than access to the second tournament. So I'm thinking you only get unlocks if you get first. But you get progression if you get top three? Maybe? I'm not sure, though, because, like, it's not kicking us out to a menu and letting us pick between different... Whatever you want to call it. Different tournaments or anything like that. It's just automatically, like, moving us straight into the second. Or into the next, not into the second. But into the next one over and over again. So, like, it could be... I don't know. Honestly, I just don't know. Ah. Farmland? Hold on. Second game. I need. I need new drink. Your boy thirsty. The other benefit, of course, if I got my own room, 
is that then there would be like more room in the bedroom for stuff. Like our bedroom's the biggest room in the house other than the um, living room. Honestly, it's not even like that much smaller than the bedroom is. Or I'm sorry, than the than the living room is, but still. Um I don't even know what I was saying. I'm so confused by what's going on even right now. Oh yeah, no, so like we could put like dressers in here and stuff if we wanted to, which would be a thing, you know, that we could do, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, like, right now, we just have our dressers and other rooms in the house, and personally, I don't really mind that, but I can understand why people, or why, why, like, I can understand how it might be better the other way to have, like, the dresser in the bedroom, but then again, like, our washer and dryer's downstairs, and that's also where... Our dressers are. So it'd probably be more convenient for Noodle to leave those downstairs, because Noodle's the one that puts all the clothes away. Because if it were left up to me, I would just like I would put my clothes in the drawers, but I wouldn't I wouldn't hold them to be honest. I'd just shove them in the drawers. And she's a real stickler for having things <laughs> folded, so like <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. So it'd probably be more convenient to still leave our dressers downstairs now that I think about it. Like, actually give it a moment's thought. Whoa, that was cool. We didn't get hit by that. Huh, your name is That's another one of those quote-unquote shortcuts, though, that I'm not even sure is really a shortcut. No! Couldn't we just, like, royally screw people by, like, throwing it right here? Like, in the middle of this? Because it always, like, shifts you to the same spot. So, like, I wonder if you grew it in the middle of a jump like that. Maybe it just wouldn't grow on the drum. The drum? The jump, I guess. <laughs> oh, bro, this path is so skinny. We hit so many people with that, with that music box. Oh, I'm so glad there was a guardrail over there. We would have been off the map. <laughs> We're also just getting super lucky that nobody else has, like, beanstalks or the other thing. Uh, the, the jack-in-the-box. Because if somebody else put those here in the middle of the, like, coming down the beanstalk area, that would royally suck for us. Oh, man, now we're getting so unlucky. Just shields. I mean, shields aren't bad. It's just like the the lamest of all things. You're this beast a dick. Still be under warranty. Weird. I didn't see our beanstalk that time. Normally, we see it when we do a complete lab, but huh? Come on. I've got toenails yeah, surely that's yeah. I was gonna say surely that's gonna get someone. It's right in the middle of that skinny ass. <laughs> section of track perfect the music box dude look at that three of them ah oh, we missed everything that's so bad i like this map just because like it's kind of easy <laughs> i mean if we got unlucky we could have got royally screwed in that map too because it seems like we were the only people getting the, the AOEs that stick around for a long time, that map just ended up being super easy for us, man. That was <laughs> that was good. I like that one. <laughs> we do that one again. Where's my... Wait, is, there, is this actually it? Yeah. My stuff. I gotta say, Shrek doesn't control too poorly. I am tempted, regardless of how this tournament turns out, I think we're gonna hop back into one of the other modes and try Donkey or someone again, now that I know how Shrek handles pretty well. 
just because I'm curious, like, how much it actually changes, if at all. Or if I just didn't have, like, a, a real handle on it whenever I first tried. And that's why it felt different once I switched to Shrek, you know? I am curious about that. Because I'm guessing... I'm, I don't know, man. To me, it would be really weird if there really was, like, different... If, if things control differently, I'm assuming they all actually control the same, and I was just mistaken. And that seems much more realistic to me. What is what is going on? Help. Why, <laughs> Why are we going around like the world's weirdest circle there? That was weird. Die, Fiona. Probably missed. Is our bird going to get anybody? What is it doing? Ah, get wrecked. Honestly, those AoEs are legitimately just my favorite. I think those are by far the best things to get, man. Just being able to hit, like, two or three people. And just like Mario Kart, once you're in first place, it's a lot easier to maintain first place, you know? than it is to, to take first place. So if you can just get it from the beginning, get a couple of those AoEs. Something I'm wondering with this game, in Mario Kart, um, the actual pickups that you get change depending on what place you're in. Both the, the probability as well as like what's actually even available for you to get changes. And I'm wondering if that's a thing here. I don't think you're locked out of getting anything at least. But I wouldn't be surprised if probability changes. Something else I've noticed is it doesn't seem like anybody else ever attacks. With like the, the manual attack, not with the whatever weapon, item, power up, whatever you want to call it is. Obviously, they use those, but I haven't seen anybody else just, like, swing a club or, or punch or, I don't know, blow fire as the dragon? I don't know what the dragon does. It just seems like a weird thing to miss out on, you know? Oh, my God. Why did we do that? We were doing so well with, like, not hitting anything. And I just ran straight into that wall. Thankfully, I guess it doesn't really matter. We're doing fine still. And we just took out second place with our our pumpkin. Take a gas cloud in this area that's like basically autopilot. Okay, we were definitely facing the wrong direction coming out of that though. I didn't even consider that being a bad thing, but yeah, that really sucked. Oh shit, dude, I didn't think we could run into our own things. <laughs> Good thing I put down three of them in that one section and we got Fiona as well. Otherwise, we would have lost our first place, but that's fine. We got it. It's all good. We Gucci. My nose is very shiny. Why is my nose so shiny? Do I need a, do I need a powder in my nose? Seriously, it's like just the, the tip of my nose is like very shiny. What the hell? I just got out of the shower before I got in here. I don't think it should have any grease on it, like oily. Yeah. Put a tiny bit of powder on my nose. <laughs> yeah, maybe. If I can get it out. Oh yeah, get it in the, the hole in my finger. That's a good idea. Oh, that smells fantastic. I don't know if that, if that helped. A tiny bit. I think a tiny bit. <laughs> Not quite as shiny. It's still, still pretty shiny. That's the one thing I hate about the, the Razer Q, the camera that I have. The auto white, white, not white balance. The auto um, exposure just does not work, man. I don't know if I've shown you guys what it looks like whenever I turn on auto exposure since I've gotten the big light over there. It's actual garbage. <laughs> like, it blows out the image so poorly, man. It's, it's terrible. 
so I can't turn on auto explorer. It's just a noise button. Bro, we got so unlucky. We went straight into that pit. Okay, yeah, this map is gonna be this is gonna be bad for us. There's so many like small doorways that we gotta go through. Which I mean, if we got some AOEs, I guess wouldn't be too bad for us. But this it's just one of them ones that has a lot going on, and I'm not I'm not good at this sort of thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Plus these weird ass walls, because you can kinda go up the walls, but only to a point, which fair, I guess, but oh uh, yeah, no. Not a good level for me. Not a bad level, just not a good level for, for me. Get wrecked. Get oh shit. It's fine though. We still got two more laps. We're not doing that. We still have a chance here. Just turn, just turn. I haven't been using brake at all. I've hardly even been letting off the acceleration. It just feels like one of those games where there's no need to ever really let go of acceleration, you know? Like, you should just be accelerating all the time. <laughs> I expected that to happen. That's, that's fair. As soon as I uh, saw that we were in that section, I started boosting. I knew, I knew we were screwed. Second though, give me AoE. I have no idea what I just got, but I hope it was AoE. This might be our first time going up. Just good for us. Can't tell. Probably not. Just based on our performance so far, probably not. Is there a? I think there's a door up here. Oh, get wrecked, f fall in the pit, not us, him. Oh, you bastards. Oh, right here. Oh, it's the last lap though, it doesn't matter. We still took second. Is that the last one or is there one? It might still be one more. Anyways, here's a, uh, if I turn on auto exposure. <laughs> Look at that. Look how much it fucking blows out my face. Hold up, like, a thing? Like, look how much it blows out just everything. It's garbage. I don't know why the auto exposure is so bad. Like, if I leave on auto exposure and then, like, completely cover my face, like, it does well for a second, and then it just gets so... I don't know, man. It's weird. It bugs the hell out of me. So I just have to leave it on automatic. Thankfully, I mean, or not on automatic. Thankfully, my uh, setting doesn't change from day to day. You know, my I don't have any natural lighting or anything in my setup, so I can control. You know, the the big light up there stays the same. The room light always stays the same. The ring light on the camera always stays the same, etc. Hey, another first place win for us. Let's go. So do we get another unlock? We do. Humpty Dumpty. Okay. So it does seem like it's probably get first place to unlock things. Sort of. Sort of deal. Which makes sense. I That makes sense. I just hope that we can do the thing. Uh, Grab. Grab. Change. Pick. Pick our own tournament if we go back to the main menu. That way, like... For instance, we got second or third place on the first tournament. Imagine that was the last tournament. And there's no option to pick. And then you have to go through every tournament to get back to that last tournament to try to unlock the last character of the game. I'm not saying that's how it works. I have no idea. But imagine that is how it worked. Imagine how garbage that would be, you know? So I'm really hoping that once we beat a tournament, we can go back to that tournament at any time. Or, like, start at that point, or even if we could just pick any of the tournaments, like you can in Mario Kart, you know? 
it'd be fine if like say the last tournament was locked until you beat all the other ones something like that would be fine but race through three tracks in a single cup challenge play through all cup challenges in the smash and crash tournament okay so cup challenge is the same thing as tournament but for different but for different ones sucks it does it tell us i mean it shows gold in all of these did we get gold on the first one i didn't think we did and it won't let us go to the next one we haven't done this one yet or no we have done this one right Farmland potion potion fact. oh no 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 okay so we haven't done this one yet so the lame i bruh I would really appreciate if there was some sort of UI element here that told us how we did in that one in the past, you know? Just to keep track of things. Like the Swamp Cup, I'm pretty sure we got second or third place on, so it'd be nice if it showed a bronze there. And the fact that we've never played the Dragon Cup, it'd be cool if there was just nothing. And since they have that, that statue, whatever, that metal reward, whatever you want to call it, trophy since they have that trophy spinning around there anyways if they just had it in like no trophy for you never placed in it or never played it then like bronze silver gold colors depending on how well you did in it that would be really cool that would be nice but it doesn't so okay, let's try donkey again see if he seems to control the same or not i'm curious I wonder if it'll be different this time, the lineup of people that we're racing against. I'm assuming it's like randomized at the start of each tournament slash cup. But I have no idea. That's that's purely a guess. Might be based off of who you pick to play as. That's a possibility. That would make sense. I don't know. Uh, yeah, there was Red Riding Hood on the, on the, the wolf dude. Yeah. I don't know, man. Is this different? I can't actually tell if this feels any different or not. We do feel more floaty actually like whenever we we hit things we seem to jump more but is that just placebo because i know that we're flying and we're not on wheels or is that a real thing is that a microphone that's a microphone that's good bro okay i didn't i didn't think there was a map we were gonna suck at worse or more Suck at worse. Suck at more than uh, what you call it. Ah, Chocobo, are you still here? If you are, man, I was just curious if you've played the Final Fantasy VII demo yet. I surprisingly have not. <laughs> I did download it a, a while back, but I haven't gotten around to actually playing it yet. I need to. Trying to decide if I want to do it on like a Monday and play it on stream, or if I just want to. Or if I just want to play the demo on my own time. I don't plan on playing all of Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's not the way we go. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think I plan on playing all of it on stream right away or anything, but it will go on the list as like an eventual thing, the same way that Final Fantasy VII Remake is. But since it's a, a series that I care so much more about than like say Final Fantasy XV, I don't want to... I want to just enjoy it instead of streaming it. I enjoy the games that I stream, but it brings a different energy streaming a game versus, you know, just playing a game. You have not yet? Okay, okay, okay. I was just going to ask your opinion on it if you played it yet. I'm curious. I think it'll be good. I mean, I really enjoyed the first Final Fantasy VII Remake, Part 1. I don't see why part two would be any worse. And from what little I know of it, it's much more open. That was dumb. This is a bad map to jump on. 
not the great map to like hit people on though because there's so many like death pits the game really likes giving us the, the big the big power up the one that I still understand I think it is more slidey I don't I wouldn't call it drifting. <coughs> Excuse me. I wouldn't call it drifting, but the the dragon does feel more like you're on ice almost. You surprised me, Then um than Shrek did. I mean I realize there is like actual ice on the map, so it could just be that, but no, I'm pretty sure it's just the way the dragon is. I don't really understand the, the knocked out thing. I get it like whenever we hit a wall straight on and lose all our momentum. Or like if there's some sort of power up that we hit. Or not power up, but some sort of, of obstacle that we hit or, or we get hit with a power up. Right, and then we lose all control for a moment. But it seems like if we just run into a wall with our side, we still get the thing above our head saying that we're like knocked out. But then we have full control of our character still. So that's a little weird. Oh, you know, is it. Oh shit, this is a turn. Oh, you know, is it looks like they fixed chocobos. That's sick. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> First we were stuck in a corner and then we got blown up by something. Anyways, no, that is pretty sick. Cause uh, yeah, chocobos were, I mean, they, they were mostly useless is what I was gonna say. To be fair to them, it was a, a more or less linear experience too. So while like the act of riding around on a chocobo was not great, you know, just the handling on them and shit was not a, was not a good time. It didn't really feel like chocobos were necessary in part one either though. So like, whatever, I guess, you know? I can understand why maybe they didn't put that much focus into them, all things considered. It still would have been nice for them to control better, but, but I understand, that's all I'm saying. Since I have to stay up tonight, that might be what I'm doing after stream, honestly, is uh, booting that up. I've had it downloaded for probably about a week now and just haven't found the time to play it. That's kind of a lie. I had the time a couple of times, but I just either didn't feel like doing anything and just kind of slept or uh, laid around or was, you know, watching anime or whatever whatever things i do with my life not a lot i guess i've stayed caught up with uh solo leveling so far though so that's nice i guess uh i just read an article that the next episode is going to be a recap episode so so that's garbage uh seven episodes in and already just doing recaps um <laughs> i guess like the studio is just having trouble keeping up with the, the weekly releases so they just needed extra time to to make the next one like oh wait bro i was on the stones the second time we got hit anyways yeah i get I hate everything. Um, I guess they were having time keeping up with it, and they need a little bit more time to make the next episode as a at the quality that they want. To do. So like fair, you know. Can't really be be mad at them for that. But honestly, I think I'd rather they just skip the week entirely, and like, and then just did a uh, a two week gap between this episode and next i hate recap episodes i just i i guess if for some reason you wanted to skip the whole first half of the season or the first seven episodes or whatever then like having the recap episode would be useful but bro there's literally seven episodes right now do we really need a recap of what's happened in those seven episodes 
it seems a little ridiculous to me. I also watched a couple more episodes of uh, My Hero Academia, but with what's going on currently in My Hero Academia, it's boring as shit. Um, so, whenever actual things happen in that show, it's interesting, but you spend a lot of time with nothing of importance happening. And it's just kind of like, why are we here? Like right now, it's just all the kids training by fighting each other, like having matches against each other in groups. And it's like, this isn't, this isn't, I don't care. Like, get out of the corner. I guess it's nice to see how the other people have progressed. You know, the non-main characters, but they're non-main characters. I just don't care enough. Bro. I mean, that's Mario Kart. Sometimes you just get fucked. No, oh, we're gonna go off the map. No, we're not. No, oh, we're gonna get stuck in the corner. Oh, oh our pumpkin fight to hit somebody. At least we're not in last. It's the only thing I can really say about that. We got a two for one on our uh, on our goose. That was <laughs> that was such garbage. Whatever we hit, they just put us up in the air. That was only the second lap. It feels like we've been on this one map forever, man. This feels like a like a long course for for four maps. I think I've gone off that bridge every single time, though, man, because we jump so much. I think, I really do think that's just a, a donkey thing, probably because he's a flying character. I kind of want to play this map again with Shrek and see what happens. Go off the map, dick. Oh shit, left. Not that left. Oh no! We were finally gonna go through the door and not get stuck on the freaking corner there, and then the dude hits me. Oh, good job. They both went off the edge of the map. GG to them. For basically giving us fourth place. I mean, it's still fourth place. It's not like we're, we're doing amazingly or anything like that. Get him. Get him. No, bro. I specifically was trying not to go off the edge that time. That's just garbage. How did they catch up to me? Oh, I guess we did end up just going off the edge, like, literally moments ago. That's fair. Actually, yeah. Makes a lot of sense that they caught up. My frog? Question mark? That really, like, didn't penalize her at all, did it? Getting hit with the frog. Oh my god. I'm garbage! No, we want to go over here. I wonder how you get the one up there. Or maybe the, the track crisscrosses. I wonder whenever we use items like that, like the jack and box and the beanstalk, and we're in the air, does it like drop down to the ground? Does it have gravity? Or is it just like floating up there? Alright. Um I think we're gonna grab Shrek. Try this level again, because I'm just curious if it will be any different. Oh. With the handling. I mean, I guess we could do, like, another ground person. Be a little more interesting than doing Shrek again, but we already know how Shrek handles, so probably just gonna stick with Shrek. And then, honestly, even though this isn't the world's worst game, I think that's more or less 
me for for the night with this with this game it's just i don't know it's just not my game man no hate to the people that like it rue cough but like it's not for me what yes and then i mean there are time trials too that's probably not worth messing around with the time trials. It's not like I'm ever going to go for a world record on any track. A smash and crash racing. If it does have any kind of... Well, there is a battle mode. I don't have anybody to... Yeah, but... Anyways, um, it's not like I'm ever going to try to, to win... Oh, wait, what was I actually saying? Oh, if there is any sort of speedrunning scene, though, for this game, that'd be a good way to figure out, like, tips and tricks on how the game actually works. Like, if different characters do handle differently or have different stats in any way, what shortcuts are worth taking and which ones you should just avoid, etc. Because, obviously, that community would have already figured all that out. <sighs> Unless it's just full of, like, glitches and cheese then in that case it might not really matter which characters you're using which mounts etc i understand why the characters have the mounts they do because you know it's like thematic to each one of them but it it would be funny if you could switch the mounts up you know like have shrek riding the dragon or uh the big bad wolf or whatever i've got toenails that are tougher than you yeah, I already want to say this feels... Yeah, this already feels a lot better. Okay, we do, we are still jumpy, though. So it may not be as big of a difference as I, I thought. But it does feel less slidey to me, but it, it's probably just me. I definitely think our jump is lower. Does it just feel like that, though, because... Like we already start in the air with with the dragon, so like it just seems like we have a higher jump because we have like a different a higher starting point. Or that's what I'm not sure about, but it, it feels less like we're on ice with with Shrek though. We did not aim with that throw like at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, it does seem like we definitely still just jump whenever we touch anything. Like, if you touch any geometry at all, the character just kind of beats themselves into the air in, in weird, mysterious ways. Dope, you get to be small Shrek. No idea what Swole Shrek does, but we get a BM. I'm going to go off that section every time. If we could just stay on the stupid bridge, we might have a chance of actually getting placed. Not necessarily, like, first place, but top three? Top three seems reasonable. If we just didn't fall off that fucking bridge every time we go past it. Trying to get the one on the left. Wait, did he just have like like a glider or something? Whenever he no, I think I'm. Right. Wonder if this game implements rubber banding, like what they have in, in Mario Kart. This beast still be under warranty. Where, like, the farther back you are, the more speed you have just automatically. And then, like, NPCs, their their AI gets better and better the farther away they are on top of um, getting better items as well as just having, like, a higher base speed. I thought this was the, the shortcut area and I could just like go down to the next section. Bro. Let's go. We stayed on the map. I'm so proud of me. Noise. 
Jeez. Okay. I literally just threaded the needle between those power ups. Let's go. <laughs> it does seem like we get a little bit of a negative whenever we land completely sideways like that. I think we just lost some some momentum. Not three or four. We're in second place. Oh my god. Well, we were in second place. Out of control! Ogre coming through! We really got fucked there, didn't we? I was trying to thread the needle, hoping that I could dodge the hit from. I mean, I guess it's not an ogre, right? Because we're in a troll? Troll seems right. I thought we could dodge the troll by threading the needle. Instead, I just ran into the wall and knocked myself unconscious for a moment. And then, to make matters better, we then uh, got hit by the troll anyways, so. Bro, that is such a dick place to put a beanstalk right there. Sadly, it doesn't seem like anybody hit it somehow. I should have saved the music box to put, like, here. One of these areas where, like, we have to come through. Obviously not a professional player of Shrek Smash and Crash Racing or anything. But even though we do get a small penalty for being completely, like, sideways after landing a, a big jump, I don't think the, the penalty outweighs the reward of just not running into stuff because we're facing the direction we need to go whenever we land before we land. Somehow pulled out first place, man. I'm surprised. Alright guys, it's close to three. It's not quite there. Relatively short stream for us tonight between uh, <laughs> literally signing off. What's up, dude? Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you mean, no, it's not? Why? What do you want to do? You want to do something? I have to stay up like until five. Though admittedly, I was just going to go play Final Fantasy VII Remake Part 2 want to hop on man what the fuck why what what do i have to stay up is that what you're saying because noodle wants to get donuts at 5 30 in the morning you're laying in bed <laughs> bro why are you just now laying in bed where you been i've been on since like 12 45 you just showing up now two hours later like Oh, you were at work that late. Fuck that, dude. That sucks. Sucks to be you. Master doll. <laughs> oh, just get my ass kicked with whatever the base deck is. Got your Eve out today. Did you get fired or you keeping your job? How's that going for you, man? It was just vibing. You hanging out with your not girlfriend? Wait, she doesn't work there anymore, does she? Or she still does. Whatever. You're not a girlfriend? <laughs> I'll just call her that. Your friend that's a girl? Yes, she does. Okay. Okay. But yeah, your friend that happens to be a chick. <laughs> You're not dude friend. <laughs> Sorry, I'm fucking tired, man. I get stupid. Stupider and stupider as I get more tired. Is there, like, a basic deck in Master Duel? Like, a, a free starter deck? Hold on. Got to pop open Steam. <laughs> that's what I said, man. You're not dude friend. That's all she is. That's that's what I'm saying. Oh, speaking of all that shit, Chocobo, you still you still transferring this month? I can't remember if you like ever set a date or not. Just friends, yeah. Not dude friend. Like I said. Wait, do I not own Master Duel? Oh yeah, there it is. I don't have it downloaded, but it literally takes, like, a minute. The 24th, okay. I thought you might have set a date, but I couldn't remember. Three fucking days, hell yeah, man. If anyone sees this, nothing is going on, just friends. <laughs> yeah, 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 what he said. I'll back him up 100%, man. It's fine. <laughs> 
hey, if they find out anything's going on, chances are you're just gonna have to transfer to my store anyways, man. It'll be fine. Player ID, starting a new game. Um, yeah, no, I have no progress anywhere. I'm in the United States. I live... Do I have to give them my real state? Does your state ever pop up in this game? Chocobo? Because, like, it's not the end of the world if people know what state I live in, but I'd rather they didn't. No, okay. I can put my real state, I guess. Um, I accept. Privacy policy's fine. I have read and watched the original. Yeah. The original original I have. Uh, I've played it in the past for that. Have you ever heard of the app Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links? I've heard of them, but never played it. Okay, is my profile done? Um, welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Hold on. Ah! Is it gonna... There we go. Gotta change the audio capture here. Oh, where's the audio capture? Application audio. Master duel. There we go. Y'all should be able to hear now. Oh, downloading cards. Wait, what? <laughs> How long does it take to download cards? Yeah, I'm off tomorrow. Why? What's up? I'm always off on Wednesdays, bro. What if I need Squish from another store? What am I going to do now? Blame the uh, dickhead. <clears throat> oh, I was on the just chatting category this whole time. Wait, no. Yeah, I changed it. Just didn't update an OBS for some reason. Uh, Master Duel. We're playing that. And this is, uh, I have no idea what I am doing. Your day's off change? Sunday, Wednesday now? I mean, at least you still have Wednesday. For me, that's good. Trying to take me on? I've told you a thousand times you don't have to go on the hike, man. You can stay home and rest. I don't really care. Thought it was Thursday for some reason? Nah, it's always been Wednesdays. Um... Learn how do you summon... Uh, learn how to summon monsters and use spell cards. Sure. We'll do that. Oh, you thought tomorrow was Thursday for some reason. My bad, my bad. Bro, wait. <laughs> if you thought tomorrow was Thursday, then you would have been off today. End phase. Turn change. Draw phase. Bro, I don't know, like, any of these new cards. Let's summon a monster. Matter. I mean, I guess summon. That's what it told me to do. If someone's per turn. Let's proceed. Battle phase. Uh, 1500. Okay. He has nothing, so. Is it just like drag? Yeah. Is it too loud? You get treated like borderline salaried managers at this point? Oof. That sucks. <laughs> Oh, the Shrek music is still on. Okay, I can mute that. Hold on, my bad. There you go. I should probably just turn off the PS2, honestly. Let me just turn off the PS2 real quick. I really need to look up uh, one of the remotes. The DVD remotes so I can like turn the PS2 on and off remotely and shit. Any day could be a work day, yeah. Oh shit, now I'm trying to play the game with the PS2 controller too. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, I know the basics of like, you know, damage that you do over the attack difference goes to life points. You can attack life points directly, etc, etc. I'm just kind of annoying, I agree. The music for that game is not great. Destroy the one face-up monster your opponent controls that has the highest defense. Okay. Well, he's only got one, so... 
Activate. He's dead. And then attack directly. It'd be nice if it automatically like changed phase depending on just whatever action you take. I mean, maybe that is a thing and it's just like hasn't shown yet, but. I have a gemstone with a mystifying glow. Learn how to play Master Duel. Trap cards and special cards. Okay. Sure. Why not, man? Oh, we get two cards this time. Do we get a, like... No, okay. Set a trap card. Target one face-up monster you control. It gains 400 attack until the end of this turn. During your turn... Except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard. You can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one face-up monster you control. That target gains 800 attack. Wait, what? Target one face-up monster you control. It gains 400 attack until the end of this turn. During your turn, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, you can banish the card from your graveyard. Oh, so you can use the trap from the graveyard as well? And then banish it, like, entirely afterwards? Okay. Um, sure, I mean, I don't care where we play. And then summon. Not in our battle phase, I'm going first. Yeah, that's, that's understandable. I got it. Okay, 1900. Um, yeah. No, we want to use the, the trap. Yeah, obviously, there's only one card. Definitely want to use it on that one. And then... So it was banished to the graveyard this turn, so we can't use it this turn, right? Some cards can be activated from your graveyard for a special effect. Activate the skill successor in your graveyard? Oh, oh, because it was his turn, so we can still do it, I guess? Can we play a card first? Summon. Oh, okay. Activate effect. You select. This one. Yes. And then... Yeah, I know. That's what I want to do is summon another monster. Uh, hold on. Can I just, like... Yes. I'm trying to attack with the monster. I'm assuming it's just because... Tutorial. And it'll flow a little more nicely once we, uh... Get into the actual game. I'm assuming. Alright, one more tutorial. List of a tame decks can be confirmed and list of structure decks, okay. Cool. We learned the last two chapters in a duel. For this duel, each player will start with 4,000. Reduce to zero. To win. What's the... Is it 8,000 is the standard or is 4,000 the standard? Seems like it would interrupt combat. Ah, okay. Maybe. It is 8,000 again. That's what I thought it was, but I didn't know if, like, things have changed. Um... Okay. What do we got? 16-0, 18-0. Uh, destroy the one face-up monster your opponent controls as high as defense. All monster you control gain 300 attack during your turn only. Uh, and then 300 defense on the opponent's turn. Destroy the target. Okay. So yeah, we'll set that. Um, I don't think we need to set that. We'll play you. Summon. We can only do one. I don't want to play this yet. Field spell. Oh, wait, is this just permanent? Yeah, that's a field spell. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. And we can't attack on our first turn. So... And... Or on the first turn, I guess, just in general. 
Oh. Rude. Um, I don't know. That's actually a pretty good effect. It's fine. Yeah, delete that. Like, an extra 300 attack slash 300 defense is pretty nice. Um, oh, when you use a card, you can then set one on the field? Oh, no. Wait, what? Why did it still get despelled? I'm so confused. Whatever. Just Dust Tornado. Huh. A 1600. Um, I assume it doesn't really matter. Summon. He has nothing on the field. Monster wise, but he has most likely a trap. We'll try attacking anyways, but we'll attack with the weakest. Reading will be valuable, not your current monster, but spells at least. One face up monster your opponent controls has the highest defense, your choice of tide. Can I see his graveyard? Yeah. Target one face-up spell or one set spell trap on the field. Destroy the target if it is a spell. If the target is set, reveal it. Three strikes barrier? Ugh. Okay. Target one spell trap your opponent controls. Destroy that target. Then you can set one spell trap from your hand. I'm just confused why this still got destroyed. I would have thought... I would have thought that it would have stayed, but I guess not. That's fine. Fifteen hundred. Tribute one monster, then target one card your opponent controls. Destroy it. Uh, okay. Summon set um sure screw it activate effect okay that didn't stop him from doing whatever that is battle done okay i have no idea what that card was apparently it didn't matter up. Leveling up is cool. I like leveling up. Playable gemstone with Miss Fine Glow. Use to purchase packs. So many cards in Duelist ready for you to discover. Grab your new deck and venture out into the wide world of dueling. Oh god. Did we actually get all three? No. Oh, by completing missions. Power of the Dragon, Link Generation, Synchro of Unity. I mean, this seems more like classic Yu-Gi-Oh! Whereas the other two sound like the new stuff that I have no idea how that works. That's a lot of meta. Link is the newest? Yeah. I'm not surprised. I don't even know what these mean, like SR? Super rare, rare, neutral, maybe? Or normal, whatever. Oh, and ultras? I mean, like, gut tells me that the newest deck should be the best deck. Because generally, in card games, things tend to just get, you know, stronger over time. Plus effective. Wait, what? Dragon fusion? Okay, I do remember a little bit of fusion stuff. There was, like... They started doing fusion things the last time I played the game, but... Yeah, we'll take the newest one, though. Link gen. Please enter player name. 
Does it have to be unique? Hopefully not. Not you. Wait, what? That's a restricted word? Why is that a restricted word? <laughs> Can I do it all with like one word like that? Bro. Uh. <laughs> I didn't know stream would be freaking restricted. Um. Strem. Strem it all. <laughs> what do you mean you cannot use restricted words? What is restricted here? Strem. Stram? Oh my god. Is it just S? Are you not allowed an S in your name? I'm so confused. Important notes. There's nothing here. Please do not enter any content that can identify or enable access to an individual, violate the rights of a third party, or is offensive to the public. gotta be the str it's like we've changed the rest of it uh or tra well i've done like i did strem so like tre yeah is also offensive i guess <laughs> restricted um strim s-t-r-i-m Yeah, I think it's just the ST. Or STR. One or the other. Uh, stem. Stem. Stem it all. St uh, stem it all. <laughs> Jesus Christ. STR. STR is, is an illegal word. Okay. Oh, now we have to do the card download. Yeah. I mean, it's going pretty quick, but it is after 3 o'clock. Oh, is is that why, maybe? Because, like, cards have that name in it? I don't know. We'll probably end up screwing around more with this game at some point, though. I do enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh, or at least used to enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh. I wouldn't mind playing more of it. Kidmoto Dragon? That's cute cute card anyways guys i'm getting super tired i'm gonna go not pass out so <laughs> have a good night guys i'll be back tomorrow for dark cloud 2 uh no dark cloud 1 dark cloud 1 <laughs> have a good night y'all as a weapon to use in the actual game that little stuff was fun i had fun on with it can change color on either one, has a remote and a few colors with strip.